everybody. It's me, the star of YouTube.com slash Mike Falzone. And I'm Mike. I'm Matt. He's a big, bright, shining star. You should subscribe to him, right? You say big, red, shining big, star? Big, bright, shining star. He was out in the sun I kind of like jumped right over that second beat. Hoping that he wouldn't mm. pick out my redness. Oh. Let us fix the white balance. Got a little less color red. over the weekend there, Mike. What do we do? Start now? Yeah. All right. In a 10-year Australian study, it's been revealed that teenage girls are smoking cigarettes to shrink the size of their unborn babies because they're afraid that their babies will be large and painful to deliver. Yeah, it makes sense. It does? Yeah, Matt, all the good things in the world have been getting smaller. Computers, houses, our chances of getting a job after mm, this one. Okay, so that last one doesn't really sound really good. Why shouldn't babies be getting smaller too? I mean, the world's already overpopulated and people won't stop having babies because they like the in and out too much. So let's create a smaller model, like those 100 calorie cans of soda. But Mike, smoking while pregnant greatly increases the risk of stillbirth and childhood asthma and allergies for the future children. You can't smoke while pregnant. Uh, apparently you can, and because it um <clears throat> feels so good, like a hot velvet kiss from a supermodel made of cuddle bears and gumdrops. I'm sorry, what? I heard a dirty, filthy smoker say that one time outside a pool hall in Jersey. She was 15. God. I've been smoking since I was a fetus, and I sound like this. A Kenyan court just upheld the practice of using anal examinations to determine someone's sexual orientation, finally deciding that someone's stripping you down and forcing open your ass was not torture or degrading treatment. Oh, it's not? Oh, thank goodness. I've seen countless TV comedies that told me that doctors poking your butthole is like the worst thing ever to happen to a person. Worse than watching your own kid die in a book fire. Why would you tell me to say that? Because it's it's a bad thing. That's It's just showing the degree Was that the of... first thing that came to your mind when you were writing this? No, originally it was a trash fire, but I figured burning books is worse. It's more sad. More sad. Homosexual sex is a criminal offense in Kenya, and the government has long used anal exams to determine one's guilt, which Judge Matthew Emakule deemed was not a violation of human dignity. Oh, it's okay, Matt. I heard that dignity is overrated. Who told you that? Um, those dirty smokers from earlier. They smell like semi-digested trash pee, but they're chock full of wisdom. Why'd you write that? Why'd you make yourself say that? What, the one about the P? Yeah. Uh, felt it. 28 year old man from southern China named Wang Killian. Wang Killian? K Kalian? Wang Kalian. K Kai Lian? Yes. Well, he was admitted to the hospital recently after complaining about abdominal pain. It's the medical term for having what they call a boom boom yuck tummy. The man described the pain as being so bad he couldn't even stand up. Upon further examination, doctors found that the man had an abnormal amount of kidneys or several, ki a bunch of more kidneys than you should have, yeah, which is more than kidneys. two, four kidneys. Imagine going to the doctor and being like, I don't know, my stomach's hurting real bad. Well, what seems to be the problem here, Mike? It almost feels like a, I don't want to say it because I hear the way it sounds in my head and it sounds silly. Now, Mike, I'm a doctor. There's pretty much nothing I haven't heard by this point. Just describe your pain. Oh, it's almost like you're going to think this is crazy. It's like I have four kidneys or something. Why the f would you waste my time with that bullshit? Obviously, you're a lying sack of crap. You're worse than my child, and my child is a lying little shit bag. Did you know that he killed a bird in the backyard and then buried it and then blamed it on the dog? You're worse than that. F you. I'm just saying what it feels like. Pain's at about an eight. Oh, okay, an eight? Apparently, the man unknowingly had a condition called duplex kidneys, and one of them had become infected. Yeah, which is like when several families live in your house all together and split in half. Nope, like that, that just means he ben was, Stiller nope, and Drew that just, nope, that just means he was born with extra stuff, and according to his records, his family was also born with several extra things, like his sister and his grandmother, and even his father, who has an extra finger on it. What kind of extra things do you think the sister has? You know, maybe it could be like a... Eyes. Probably what it Bunch is. Bunch of extra eyes. Bunch of extra eyes. That's a sad way to live. My stomach hurts. Well, it's, you might have extra eyes. Spoiler alert, this is my favorite story from today by far. Scott Dunn, a student from East Juniata. Is that how probably I say that? It's East Juniata. Yeah. East Juniata High School in McAllisterville, Pennsylvania. Anyway, he got into a car accident on May 25th, and to recover, he was put into a medically induced 
coma. This is your favorite story, Mike? Shame on you. Can you let me finish the story? We're about 25% of the way through the, you just let me tell the bad part. I'm gonna swoop in with all the good news. All right, continue. All right, so while he was in this coma, he missed his high school graduation. Okay, it gets better. So his classmates got together and recreated the ceremony for him. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, dare you not to cry, guy who cuts me off too hard. Yeah, dude, they all put on their caps and gowns and he got to lead the procession to Pomp and Circumstance, which as you remember is Macho Man Randy Savage theme song. Of course. And then he got to receive his diploma and he said the whole ceremony left him speechless, which kind of sucks because he was the valedictorian. Oh man, that can't be true. Tell me that's not true, Mike. No, the last part wasn't true. The last part was just for jokes, but the rest of the story, totally true. Sweet. I just like to take an opportunity to uh, let the audience know that Mike wrote in a lot of those times where I cut him off and that it's not actually because I, I want to cut him off. I love him. I have deep respect too, for too Mike. Much. Deep respect for Mike and everything that he does. And I just want to let everybody know how much I love him. Scroll love forward you. past whatever the f this is. <laughs> so have you ever smoked to make something smaller? It's a bad idea. Answer in the comments below. Yeah, how do you feel about missing your graduation and maybe being able to do it again? Let us know down in the comments below. After your graduation, don't smoke cigarettes forever. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. And hey, be sure to prepare for July 4th. How do you do that? I don't know. By Tell being me. over the toply American with these outfits. Be the envy of all your friends with these patriotic tanks and all their objects that you wear. Yeah, so order by June 22nd to get them by July 4th. You can go to forhumanpeoples.com right now to check out all the amazing July 4th designs. Do you want those? What he said? T-shirts and tanks? Or them now if you want. Is that your Macho Man Randy Savage? Yeah, now. them now. Order them now. You can order them right now. You can go to forhumanpeoples.com, link in the description. Beat goes on. Yeah. yeah. That's Mike Falzone. Beat goes on. Matt Liebman. Thanks See ya, dig it! See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Be cool. You gotta let it go from the east side of your mouth. It just, <laughs> it just <truth>. hurt. <laughs> like, every time I watched Doug, I got sad.